What's up everyone, welcome back. So that last video ended kind of abruptly, so we're gonna finish off the rear bumper, show you guys how the bumper turned out, and then we're gonna also just do a full walk around of the truck of where it's at right now. Uh, the truck's been on hold for a while, so it's it's been a few months since the last video was filmed to where we're at now. Uh, I have driven the truck a little, so we'll go over things that need to be changed and where we're currently at on that. Uh, so here's where how the rear bumper turned out that we made. Um, it's the original mounts with just a 2x6 uh, rectangle tube welded onto them. The ends are capped, played on the top, and then uh, triangulated it. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but... That's how that turned out. I bought the shackle mount, welded those on. The hitches on, I really don't know how much this truck is gonna tow. Uh, we're gonna cut this off. I have a new mount that's gonna mount on the bumper so the trailer plug will go in this gap right here. Um, I'm happy with the bumper, but it, I don't know if it's gonna be the permanent bumper. I would like to take the hitch off incorporate the hitch into the bumper up higher and do uh, like a high clearance rear bumper um i will and I, when i do that uh i want to do a tube rear bumper and i want to actually trim the back here uh i would like to kind of cut this here and just bring it all the way around and do a wrap around tube bumper on the back that's a little higher clearance um but the truck is done and drivable so I'm gonna show you guys everything. Uh, here's kind of the truck as a whole. We'll just do a quick little walk around of how it turned out and we're gonna go over everything on it. Uh, we'll start here at the front and work our way back. The bumper's on. I don't have the winch in it yet. I gotta fix, the, the winch works, uh, but it's making some noise inside. I don't know if it just needs greased or something's wrong so i gotta take the winch part it's a warren m12000 that is made for this bumper this bumper was built around that winch so that's going to go in there the light mounts these lights are actually going to get moved out right to the edge of this and then i have three lp9 baja designs in amber also they're going to go here in the middle um, so that'll finish that off these plates here I don't like they used to have like a plastic bucket in them that uh had a fog light but the buckets have since broke and you can't buy them anymore so these are gonna i'm gonna make a plate that just covers these and has a, a d-ring shackle mount here kind of like the ones at the bottom just another another shackle mount up here um these are the shackle mounts i would use because these are on the frame these will just kind of be there for more of a look uh the lights are getting replaced. That's on the to-do list still. Uh, this light actually broke, the mount on it broke, so it doesn't stay in anymore. You gotta tape it into the truck. Um, the HIDs will probably stay. They're uh, Morimoto Mini H1 projectors with HIDs. I really like them, they're really bright. And for having a lifted truck, you don't get uh, people flashing their lights at you just because the, uh, the projectors. So I like that. Uh, the grill needs replaced. I don't know what I want to do with the grill. Keep a stock grill, paint it. We're not sure on that one. Uh, but the chrome is coming off a little there. And on the front, everything's done up here. You know, we went over that in the videos. Um, no sway bars front and rear because it's going to be a, a woods truck, off-road truck. Didn't want any sway bars. I've driven it without them. I've driven 70 miles an hour over uh, a couple mountain passes we have around here, and it feels the same. Even with the lift on it, this, the real soft suspension, it drives great. Um, it does have a Thurin third bar track, third gen track bar with a third gen conversion bracket. Uh, Thurin three inch coils, they're not the, uh, the super soft coils, they're the regular three inch coils. Uh, Thurin, overland shocks and steering box stabilizer up front it has core 4x4 adjustable control arms uh, they're bent for tire clearance and ground clearance um, so i really those are probably my favorite part 
Uh, I had bought some other control arms for it and I waited like four months for them. And I bought these and I had them built, powder coated and chipped in a week. I love these. I would highly recommend Core 4x4. Uh, tires and wheels, they are Nitto Ridge Grapplers, 37, 13, 5, 17s. I went with the 13 fives because they are E rated. The 12 fives are D rated. Um, I could have got away with the D rating on this truck just because this truck will probably never tow. Uh, that's why I have my 2006 3500. But these are Method NVs. They are 17 by 8.5, zero backspace or zero offset with the metal lug spiked lug nuts. And then the silver ring you see back in there, that is a Centromatic. It's made by a company called Centromatic. It is a balancing ring that goes on your hubs. And these 37s are not balanced whatsoever. They have no weights on the rims, no beads inside the tires. And I've done 75 and there's zero vibration. They work fantastic. When I get new tires on my 2006, I'll be getting a set for that also. Um, they are amazing. Hoods open, we'll come back to under the hood. Uh, rear suspension, it is stock Leafs with Carly mini packs on there. And I really like them. They drive, they're way softer. I love the mini packs. Uh, they're in overland shocks in the rear also. Uh, spare tires removed, axle dumped exhaust. It's a four inch turbo back. Uh, I put the muffler back in it, didn't like it. Now it's straight piped again. Um, does have the rear drums because it's a Dana 70. The bed's full of stuff because uh, we did take this on a trip this winter and that's why all the weight's back here. I haven't taken it out yet, uh, but it does have a full size spare 37135 on just a steel 17 by nine wheel. Uh, the plan for the bed of this truck is I have this. 1500 right here this is a soft topper canopy and i'm going to be getting one of these for that truck and then for the spare tire i'm going to get a rigged mega fit swing out tire carrier for the rear and the 37 will live on there and then my 06 uh it has a spare tire in the bed also so when i go on road trips with that truck i'm just going to swap the tire carrier over to that truck make it easier on me um but that's the whole front and rear suspension. The roof on the truck is painted black. Uh, I like it, it's uh, painted with steel it, just the black matte steel it. Uh, works really good, I like it for up in the woods. You can scratch it, touch it up really easy. It's better than painting, I think. Uh, in the cab, we have, these are actually the front shackle mounts I got that are gonna go where those, uh, the old fog lights are. So I gotta make some plates for these to mount to. That's the plan for that. Sticking to the carpet. Uh, original dash does have one crack up there somewhere, but it is original dash. Uh, center console, this is a cup holder from Gino's Garage. I like it, I have the same one in my 2006. It is great. This cup holder sucks on the second gens. It's terrible, I like this instead. Uh, CB radio is in. I gotta get the antenna put on, but uh, this truck has a CB radio because we use them up hunting. We use them instead of walkie talkies driving around, we use CB radios. These switches right here are from S-Pod. It's their universal kit from S-Pod. Uh, it just has a single wire right here that goes up, into the up under the dash to the hood and I'll show you the controller for that. Uh, the rear, is in great condition. These seats are original. They've never been reupholstered. Even the driver's seats never been reupholstered. Uh, it has had the foam replaced, but it is the original cloth on it. So it's a really good shape. The truck has uh, 207,000 miles on it. It's a 98 and a half with 24 valve. Uh, Alpine stereo, Alpine speakers, front and rear, that's all been redone. But everything works on this truck. And performance wise, it has an edge, juice with attitude, uh, some mild injectors around 90 horse, intake exhaust, and, that, and a fast lift pump. Uh, up here under the hood, I'll show you that S-Pod. 
set up. So this is the S pod here. Uh, you mount it anywhere you want. This is where I have mine mounted. Um, we'll open it up here. And it is, it just simplifies all your wiring for all your lights. Um, it has your relays and your fuses. It can run up to a 30 amp fuse on each one of these. It's capable of 30 amps. Uh, it has 40 amp relays. And then all you do is like these lights up here, the wiring harness comes up through and it's cut and you run ground and you're positive. And then the switch inside, so this is on switch two, which is the middle one on the top. That's my, that's gonna be all my front lights are gonna be on that switch. So I just splice all my lights onto those two terminals. When I flip that switch, all the lights come on. Uh, I love these. This is off of my 06. I used to have a bunch of lights on that. I moved it to this truck. Um, I do have plans for front, front lights, left and rear lights, rear lights and then my winch is going to be controlled by a switch and the fifth one i don't know if it's going to be an air compressor or what i haven't figured out that sixth switch yet but we'll figure out something on there um just a engine it's got painted valve cover and stuff the they were getting all corroded so i just painted them real quick uh s &B intake overall the truck's in great shape uh it's been through a couple VP44 pumps and a couple transmissions, it's second gen. But other than that, original engine, uh, it's never even had the head off of it. It's just had the injectors done, original everything on it. Um, so that'll be nice. I wanna do head studs and a turbo eventually, but I got a lot of other things. Now to stuff that needs fixed. Uh, I've driven it probably a thousand miles since it's been done um, the biggest thing that needs fixed is the gearing um, I have everything to redo the gearing already I've already bought all the parts it has the original 355 gearing in it Dana 60 front Dana 70 rear I knew the 355s were gonna be a bad idea but I wanted to get it done drive it and see uh, it doesn't like to go into overdrive till like 65. So I haven't driven it a lot because I don't want to hurt the transmission. I have all the gearing. I have all the parts. We're going to rebuild front and rear. And it's got open diffs. So the rear is getting a Detroit locker. The front will stay open for now because eventually I want to do locking hubs and a uh, like an air locker. But for now, we're going to rebuild it. New seals, bearings, everything. We're going to do uh, 456s. So that should help a bunch. I thought about 410s, but 456s puts this truck on the freeway at the exact same RPM as 355s and the stock 31 and a half inch tires. So theoretically, this truck will be the exact same as stock uh, once it is re-geared. So we're going to start working on the gearing now. Actually, I'll film that. Um, I have everything. I just got a, I bought a press. I just got to build the press to get that squared away. Um, why doesn't this one go? That's on there. There we go. And this is waterproof too. I like this S-Pod. Uh, it's my favorite purchase I've bought. I love that it's waterproof. It is fantastic. Um, but gearing needs to get fixed. Steering's good. I'm happy with steering, but I need to get the the steering the gearing fixed and these lights. I need to replace the headlights. Uh, I'd like to have all that stuff done. I'm filming this uh, today, probably the same day the video goes up. But I would like to have this done and on the road by June. I want to take it on a camping trip. So I want to have all the gearing done. I'm probably not going to have the canopy and the tire carrier by then, but I want to take it for that. So that's an overview of the truck. Uh, it has fourth gen mirrors with the running lights in them. I like them. They just look better. Again, this truck's not going to tow, but it looks better. And that's why they're on there. Um, one, just as a bonus to this video before we end it, um, we do have cool new trailer over here i'll show you guys that we just got and talk about this so this is we just got it um we needed we have our dump trailer right 
right there, but we need a trailer that can haul our uh, excavator a little bit better. Uh, we have an excavator on order and uh, we need a bigger car trailer. So we just picked this up a, less than a week ago. Um, it is a PJ 20 foot buggy trailer is what they call it. Uh, it's got the drive over fenders, full width, um, quarter inch fenders on it. It's 14,000 pound trailer, fold down ramps. The ramps slide back and forth. Uh, the deck was, I don't know if it was treated or not, but I stained and uh, waterproofed the deck. This is, uh, it's paint by bear. It was uh, red, the color is redwood. Um, but it's just a stain and waterproof for the deck. I really like that, the color of it. I think it looks a lot better like this. Um, they could do a little bit better on the chain box up here. Uh, I mean, it, it works, but there's really no security in it. Um, our plan is to, we're gonna put, since the spare tire's right there, we're gonna put a toolbox across the front here that's real low. It's barely any high, higher than the jack here. Um, and we're gonna put a battery and a winch in there. Put a 12,000 pound winch with a battery and then we'll be able to put the chains in that box also and it'll be a full width box. Uh, so that's our plan for that. But the deck's stain's been on for three days so it should be cured. Now today's the last day of curing for it. But yeah, this I, I'm really happy with the trailer. Um, it It's really nice trailer. We have a load trail dump trailer here. And uh, we've had this for five years now. And the best trailer we've ever bought. If you're thinking about getting a dump trailer, get one because they are more useful than you can imagine. You don't realize how much you can use a dump trailer until you have one. And it is by far the most trail, most used trailer we've ever owned. Um, the PJ and the low trail use the same size tire, same bolt pattern, everything's interchangeable on those same axles because they're both 14,000 pound trailers. Makes it nice being able to swap back and forth. Um, but yeah, this trailer's really nice. I'm happy with it. Um, so our, our excavator should be here in the next month or two. Uh, so I'll film a little road trip on that. We gotta make a trip down to Portland, uh, about four hours each way to pick it up. Uh, it's still being built in the factory. So we're waiting on shipping for that to get here, but that'll be nice once we got that here, get some project, get some work done around here. Uh, we did go with the Kubota, just cause we have other Kubotas. Love them, we've never had an issue with Kubota. So it's one of their minis. It's a U35 2021. So that's that'll be exciting to get that. But I think that's pretty much everything we got. You've gone over everything with the truck. And uh, I mean, you guys see where the build's at, where you're caught up. Um, we're going to get, I got to build the press today. We'll get the press built and we'll start working on the gearing and uh, get that video posted for you. All right, guys, so we're just going to jump over to this really quick in the middle of this video before I end it, show you guys the press I was talking about. I just got that all finished up. So here's that press that we're going to be using for the rear gearing uh, just from Harbor Freight. Um, I got it on their spring Black Friday sale for $170 after tax out the door. Um, but, you know, 20 ton press. Really, I'm for Harbor Freight. I know some stuff's hit and miss, but it uh, the welds on it look pretty good. It looks like it's gonna hold up. You know, I mean, if it does crack over time, we can re weld that. That's not an issue, but this is the press we're gonna be using on that. Um, and for the price, you really can't, can't beat it. It really is a good buy. So, we got this guy all built up and ready to go. And then this right here. This is for an upcoming project, so if you guys want to stick around for that, that should be home here in probably two months. That project will be back home, and we'll start uh, keep working on that and do a full video series on that. But we're going to jump back to where we were in the video now. But thanks for watching. Spin this guy around. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's kind of just a little side project of mine. I've been wanting to do this for a couple years now. And... Uh, yeah, it's been fun. I want to continue doing this and uh, 
I hope you guys like it. Stick around, give me some recommendations. Tell me what you guys want to see more of, what I can do better. And uh, we'll keep working on it. So I'll see you guys on the next one.